So the next thing they talked about was the four truths. And they start with one truth that I actually want to read a poem um, from the book. Uh, so this, this poem is called, called My Wage by J.B. Rittenhouse. And it really just resonated with me. I bargained with life for a penny and life would pay no more. However, I begged at evening when I counted my scanty store. For life is a just employer. He gives you what you ask. But once you have set the wages, why you must bear the task. I worked for a menial's hire only to learn, dismayed, that any age I had asked of life, life would have willingly paid. That sits heavy on me every time I read it. Because the lesson here is, is that what we ask for is what we get. And the questions that we ask of ourselves and the questions that we ask of our life are what will ultimately determine our outcome. And, and the principle they take is that the, the way we phrase those questions will then determine the answers that we seek and apply, which will then determine our eventual results. And that's a big lesson here. And it leads to how do you come up with uncommon questions that take you to uncommon answers? Uh, and their answer is the focusing question. And so the one thing is centered around this focusing question because it, it guides you to an uncommon approach to living your life. And the question is, what's the one thing I can do such that by doing it, everything else will be easier or unnecessary? And this question I ask, uh, like the book kind of guides you to, I ask this question of, everything important in my life. Um, certainly on the personal side, but very frequently on the business side. Um, I have it actually on the wall over here as a little reminder for myself. That's not a very good angle, but what's the one thing I can do such that by doing it, everything else will become easier or unnecessary? That's how strongly that question in, impacts me and influences me. So when it comes to growing my business, and, and, and growing myself as a business owner, I ask that question all the time. They also talk about the success habit, which is essentially applying that being your first habit, the first habit that you should start developing, unless you have one that you know will have a more direct impact on you, which might be your physical health uh, or your financial state. And um, for that, I would reference you to profit first. Uh, but it is asking yourself this question about everything that matters in life. And so that's the habit that I've been developing really over the last two years uh, since I read the book. And that in finding the answers to this question, I'm sorry, that this question is the path to great answers. Um, they go into some additional things like uh, purpose leading to priority and leading to productivity. If you want to achieve extraordinary results, know your purpose. Your purpose drives your priority, which you discover these by asking yourself the one thing. And then uh, that leads to productivity. So um, I'm going to include a little bit of extra information here at the end. But if you're about to stop the video, um, this book, The One Thing, this is, this is a highly recommend this. I'd be happy to send you a free copy. It's by Gary Keller and Jay Papazan. Uh, it's available on Amazon and uh, on Audible if you like audiobooks. Just real quick, I love this cover that they did. This is a domino. And The One Thing is all about lining up your first domino and knocking it over so that it makes it easier to knock over the next domino and how that multiplies every domino a little bigger, a little more impactful than the last. And asking yourself the focusing question helps you figure out which domino to start working on this month, today. Um, so that's why I love the one thing. And that's why I highly recommend anyone who wants to succeed in their life or make changes in their career that you check this book out and see if it resonates with you like it resonates with me.